In this tutorial series, you will learn how to make super hot in Unity. This is the third part and the last part of the tutorial series in which we will learn how to make the level system so that when we kill all the enemies, then we will switch from one level to another level. If we die during the levels, we will of course restart the level. So without wasting any time, let's get started. In the first part of the tutorial series, we learned how to make the FPS movement system, the shooting system and also the super hot time mechanic so that when we stop, the time also stops. In the second part, we learned how to make the enemy AI so that he follows us, he can shoot us and then we can also kill the enemy and he dies. Before we get started, I want you guys to know that if you won't see the first two part of the tutorial series, you may not be able to understand what is happening in this video because we are not doing the normal coding. We are using an asset called Playmaker instead of doing coding. Playmaker is really a cool asset which helps us make games without writing a single line of code and we made all of this without writing a single line of code. So if you are, uh, haven't seen the first two uh, part of the tutorial series, make sure you click the link in the description box below and see that two parts and then come back because otherwise you won't be able to understand what is happening in this video. So here I have three simple levels set up. This is the level one, this is level two and then this is level three. So we should be able to switch between level 1 to level 2 and then level 2 to level 3 when we kill all the enemies included. In the level 1 there is only 2 enemies, in level 2 there are 1, 2, 3, 4 enemies and in the level five, uh, level 3 we have 1, 2, 3, 4 enemies, 5 enemies. So here we have the 2 enemies, so both of them have uh, 2 FSMs, so I'm gonna select one of them and here you can see there are 2 FSMs over here. One is for firing and one is for pathfinding and in the pathfinding we made a condition that when the enemy dies he's gonna come in this state. If you don't believe me let's 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 see if it is working or not. I'm gonna make this smaller and logically when we kill this enemy he should transition from this state to this state. So if I click him right now and if I shoot that enemy over there you will see that right now he is in state 1 and if I try to kill that guy BAM and he dodged the bullet so I'm gonna shoot two bullets BAM now he is dead as you can see he is dead over there he's dying and we are uh, transitioned to state 2 cool so this is the way that we check whether or not the enemy has died now what we want to do is we want to transition from one level to another level when we kill both the enemies so there should be some kind of a system that will tell us that both the enemies has di have, have died so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make a float variable that will check how many uh, enemies have died and whenever a enemy dies he is gonna increase the float check by one so what I mean by that is I'm gonna come in the second state and go ahead and say uh, float add all right and make a new global variable global variable is a variable that we can change from other FSMs that we can access from other FSMs so add a new global variable I'm gonna call this enemy death counter bam enemy death counter this will count how many enemies have died and whenever an enemy dies he is gonna increase this float by one bam okay simple as that and we're gonna copy this action go to the second enemy say edit and go to state 2 and paste it over here also so when the both the enemies will die the value of the enemy death counter will become 2 and when it becomes 2 it means both the enemies have died right so when the uh, value of the enemy death counter becomes 2 it means we have completed the level and we have to go to the next level so in order to do that in order to manage that we're gonna go ahead and create an empty game object uh, reset the transform not necessary but still and I'm gonna call this level manager this will manage all our level thingies in here I'm gonna go ahead and add an FSM if you don't see this FSM it means you haven't uh, imported playmaker uh, if you uh, don't have playmaker you can buy it from asset store or if you want to test it out you can buy uh, download it for free the link will be in the description box below so go ahead and say edit uh, in the level manager what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say float compare float compare and we're gonna compare the value of the enemy death counter so go to globals and enemy death counter and I'm gonna compare this float with the value of how many enemies we have in the scene in this case we only have two enemies so I'm gonna compare the value with two 
and if it is if, if it becomes equal to 2 which means all the enemies have died I'm gonna go ahead and say next level yeah I know the spelling are wrong but yeah and make a new state over here and make sure every frame is checked because we want to check it every second right so click that and let's let's see if if it's working or not so if we kill both the enemies we should transition from this state to this state state 1 to state 2 so I'm gonna real quick kill both the enemies let's come over here bam 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 kill this enemy bam 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 kill this enemy no not died he has not died there we go he is dead and as you can see we have transitioned to state 2 which is really cool which means we have uh, completed the level okay now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and transition to next level but before we do that we have to display some kind of a text over here so that the the player knows that he has completed the level so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say right click create a canvas so UI canvas there it is um, I already have that uh, I already have it so I'm not gonna create it again and in there we're gonna go ahead and say UI and panel I guess so panel and as you can see it makes this kind of a panel thingy I'm gonna press F and zoom out this is the thing we're gonna increase and decrease the opacity to make it white and bl black and in the panel I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, UI text and the text will say uh, level complete simple as that and I'm gonna go ahead and make the text a little bigger by making it bigger from here and then also selecting the whole text and increasing the font size just like that So there we go it will display this level complete text now if you want to add some animations you can also do that by going and selecting the panel or selecting the panel yeah and going to window animations animation and then drag this tab over here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new animation for it so why the fuck can I I'm gonna go ahead and create a new animation so say create and come in here just simply go ahead and say right click create a new folder animations animations in there I'm gonna go ahead and say level complete. this will be the name of the animations so hit ok and then start the recording button and I'm gonna go ahead and set the opacity to 0 and also select the text and set the opacity to 0 2 there we go and then as the time passes let's say 5 seconds or whatever no not 5 seconds just 0.10 seconds and then inc increase the opacity all the way up and increase the opacity a little bit up somewhat over here so now you can see if you come back there's little animation and I'm gonna go ahead and, and make it like that so it eases in and it all depends on you so I'm gonna go ahead and set it to like this bam cool so this is simple animation working and I'm gonna duplicate this control C control V and make them up to one minute one second so this is a one second animation I can increase it to 130 one yeah good so this will the animation this will be the animation that will display and then we will transition to the next level cool now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and select the animations select the main animation and say don't loop time because we don't want it to loop again and again and again and then we are also gonna go ahead and disable that so when the game starts we are gonna uh, deactivate that and I'm gonna call this level complete text there we go and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the level manager and say edit and in the state 2 we're gonna say activate game object specify the game object and we're gonna activate the level complete text activate that so now if you play the game 
you will see that when we kill both the enemies there will be an animation playing kill this enemy kill that enemy and as you can see level complete text over here and now after some time we should be able to transition to the next level so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the level manager and in here after we display the text we're gonna go ahead and say wait wait for I don't know three seconds so that the player cheers up so that he has uh, completed the level then we're gonna say next level make a new state and in here we're gonna say load level load level there we go simple as that and now we have to paste the name of the level we uh, the next level so in my case it's level 2 copy the name paste the name over here and that will be pretty much it I guess one thing you have to make sure is to go to file build settings and drag and drop all the levels that you're using like if I delete them I'm using these three levels so I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop them in there as you can see uh, then and only then it will work otherwise it won't work now hopefully if we kill both the enemies we are gonna transition to the next level let's see if it is working or not kill this enemy and then kill that enemy this enemy has not died there we go next level level complete next level come on come on yeah there we go the next level has loaded so that is pretty much working now we have to do the exact same thing for the level 2 what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy the level manager paste it in the level 2 and one thing that we just did was change the uh, the script a little bit of the path finding so I'm gonna go ahead and say copy component and go to level 2 select all the enemies enemies and paste the component as a component values so now if we go to the here and there we go as you can see the float add is added this is what we added in the uh, previous level so cool now we go to the level manager say edit and in here we are not gonna uh, use the float 2 because in this case we have four enemies as you can see one two three four so instead of using two we're gonna use four because if you use two then it's not gonna work because we have four enemies so when the value of uh, the enemy death counter will become four it means all the enemies are died we're gonna go and come in here and there is no element of the text we have to also copy that one and then we're gonna wait for three and we're gonna go to level three level three there we go so I'm gonna go ahead save it and copy the level complete text real quick come in here and go to the canvas paste it in here simple as that go ahead and come over here and drag and drop it in here there we go this is what you have to do so let's see if the level 2 is working properly so that we can transition from level 2 to level 3 I'm gonna go ahead and play the game real quick and kill this enemy real quick bam there we go he is dead there's one enemy over there he should be dead there we go one enemy is still over there there we go he is also dead and the last one is this guy there we go level complete and level 3 there we go this is basically how you make the mission or level system uh, we made it yeah so this is how you make the mission or level system in unity and this is pretty much it for this tutorial series so the tutorial series of super hot is completed we made the movement system we made the shooting system we made the time mechanics we made the enemy ai and now finally we made the level system and comment down below what you want me to make the next tutorial on hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did then subscribe to my channel which is how to do so that you don't miss any future videos with that said peace out